gonna share with you one of my favorite uh, orchid and it's in full bloom now and I think since it started opening it's been a month now so it's a very long lasting uh, orchid I like the pattern the color and um, it might not have a uh, fragrance but it makes up for it for long lasting and vibrant colors now this is just one spike um, can you imagine if there's more than one spike so I love this uh, one of my favorite orchid and this is um, the The Arthurara Sea Snake Unforgettable. So yeah, love the name Unforgettable Sea Snake. So yep. So this is very long lasting and um, I did it like the Uncidium. I put a gravel top on it but mostly this is a small pine bark and a little bit of sponge rock so yeah you see if I can dig in there but it's kind of hard but yeah they're very fine and if it's summer I water it twice a week if not, uh, because it's already small fine bark, so it stays moist, and it's in a plastic pot, so it they, it added more moisture to it instead of the ceramic pot. And um, once a week, when it's winter, and of course fertilize it as I would uh, all my uh, orchids. It has a slow release fertilizer. Plus my, uh, from time to time, I water it with a weak uh, solution of 20-20-20 uh, in my daily or uh, regular uh, watering. So this is it guys. This is something you, you, uh, you can add to your collection. Uh, you won't regret it. It might not have a fragrance, just like I said but it stays long and it's very pretty it's pretty in itself uh, even though it, it's a different one from Cattleya, your Phenanopsis but this will stood out in, in the group in your uh, flower arrangements so this is it guys just want to share with you one of my favorite orchids Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.